Today, we are talking waveforms and why they should be one of your most used tools as a filmmaker. This is going to be a relatively quick video going through five different reasons why a waveform should essentially be your best friend when it comes to creating content. Waveform displays are included in many different editing programs, but it also is included in some video dedicated cameras and monitoring tools. For those of you who are new to either color grading or filmmaking, a waveform can just look like this strange graph that you feel like you should know, but you just don't know as of yet. That's why this video is aimed to be described as simple as possible. Possible. So then after this, you'll want to be using waveforms all the time and whenever you can, because once you know how to understand a waveform, it can really elevate the quality of your work when used correctly. There are several types of waveform displays, but to me, the most advantageous and the most practical one is the RGB waveform. And that's what this video is going to mostly focus on. However, this video has been structured in a specific way so that we'll go over the advantages of using any waveform type in the first half, then we'll move on to the advantages of using an RGB waveform in the second half of the video. So what is a waveform, I hear you ask? In its simplest form, it's an alternative representation of your footage using color and luminance values. I tried to make that as simple as possible. A good way to see this in real life is if you overlapped your waveform over your footage, you will notice the waveform moving in line with the footage itself. Looking at it from left to right indicates the position of every color value within that frame of footage from left to right whilst top to bottom represents the brightness or the luminance of those colors. So what can we look out for with that information? Exposure is vital in creating good quality content. Fixing underexposed footage naturally results in a noisy image because you're trying to lift those shadows, whilst overexposed footage, depending on the scale, can sometimes be unretrievable. So if your footage is nicely balanced in between the top and the bottom of a waveform, you have well exposed footage, which means you then have endless opportunity to grade your footage however you wish. However, in most cases, don't push that grade too far, especially when it comes to contrast, which is the second way of using a waveform. Like I mentioned earlier, the vertical display of a waveform represents the brightness or the luminance of what is on screen. Therefore, with the highlights at the top of the screen and the shadows at the bottom, you can determine the amount of contrast in your image. Let's use me right now as an example. When shooting in log, there's a low amount of contrast and everything is nicely balanced in the center of the waveform. We have a good exposure to then work with. But if I add that contrast back in, my highlights and my shadows are being stretched and therefore adding contrast. The good thing about waveforms are that it shows your legal limits when it comes to color. If your highlights are stretched beyond the top of your waveform display, and likewise, if all your shadows hit the bottom of the waveform, you essentially have lost that information. And that is when you might start hearing phrases such as, your highlights are clipping or your shadows are crushed. If you're using green screen or you want to key out a color and you don't currently have any monitoring equipment that have advanced video features such as false color, waveform is a great secondary option. Essentially what you want to look out for is a flat line going across your entire waveform. If you don't have a flat line and it drops off in certain areas, add some light onto that background and it will gradually level that line out, essentially making it a lot easier for you to key out your intended color. So now let's move on to the additional advantages when specifically using an RGB waveform. The advantage of using this waveform type is the ability to see each individual color value. Every color that exists is made from a combination of red, green, and blue. So these three colors are most commonly found in your waveforms. For example, the color white is made from an equal combination of red, green, and blue. If those three colors are lined up together on your waveform, that means that you have perfect color white, and this will actually show as white on your waveform. This also applies when making sure that your blacks and shadows are also pure black. And this can be done by adjusting the color tint in your shadows and adjusting the amount of color that you need to turn that waveform in the shadow region into pure black, which again is represented as white. By doing this, you are well on your way to properly correcting your footage. Which is a good time to move on to our fifth and final advantage of using a waveform, and that is 
accuracy. The scopes inside your editing software is taking information from the footage itself, not taken from the calibration of your monitors or your own judgment of what you consider colors to be with your own eyesight. Therefore, if your RGB waveform suggests that your white sheet of paper is actually white, you have correct white balance and not what you subjectively consider to be white. There we go, nice and quick. If you enjoyed this particular type of video, let me know in the comments because if I can create a series of post-production related tutorials, I'm more than happy to start doing that. So if you'd like that, let me know. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again, hopefully sometime soon.